What's appertaining, people? It's Scott again. Um, got a storm damage on a wall. I'm thinking, shall I make a video for this? Three brick pillars there is. I'll show you. Wow. Yeah, wind blew it down. We had some storm or something. Bertha or Bertha or some shit like that. A couple of weeks back, didn't we? And uh, this blew down. I know he lives around the corner from my house. So I thought, I'll oh, go on then, I'll do it. So I'm kind of in between things at the moment. I finished that patch off the other day, didn't I? Um, got to go back this afternoon, a couple of tiles in the porch, then going back to grout it um, Thursday with Tyler's tools. So I'm just doing some odds and sods until then. So shall I film it, shall I not? Uh, it's only a pillar, it's only three brick pillars. But I'll film it anyway, see what it looks like. And if it's good enough, you can watch it. Right, so I'll spin around so you don't see my mush anymore and I'll show you what's, what the crack is. So there was one brick pillar by there and that's a bit of a gap and a bit of a gap. The wind come blowing through, blew it all down. So we're going to leave that pillar there. We're going to stick one by there and we're going to stick one by there. So uh, we're kind of tripling up on what's there at the moment. So, bricks are on the wall, so you put them down on the pavement. I set them back from the string line, so they're not going to affect anything. Should be a piece of piss, this really, because the pillar's up already. One there, one there, all I've really got to do is run my string line to it. So, we shall get a mix on, and we shall do a little bit of brick playing today. All right, well, I'll show you how to make a mix of sand cement. Um, bricklaying um, sand, so just normal building sand. Ratio is five to one. So it's literally going to be, we got Travis Perkins 20 kg bags, the cement's 20 kg bags. I basically cut the cement bag in half. We lose two and a half bags of the Travis Perkins sand. Wang that in there, the half in there as well. Let it mix. Magic ingredients. A lot of people might say, oh, that's really bad, that's really bad. Bollocks, I don't care, because it's not. It's absolutely fine. Some people might disagree, some people might not. But we're using fairy. Balls to the feb. Crap. I've never liked it, never liked it, ever, ever, ever. So yeah, fairy. Been using it 30 odd years. And it's fine, it's absolutely fine. Then I should know, because I've been doing it long enough. Right, so a bit of water in the back of the mixer first. Just so the sand and stick to it. Only a little bit. Right, let's put some sand in there. Have myself a fresh blade. I never buy knives with handles. I just buy blades. Get down, force of habit. Alright, let's chop this. Just slice, just slice the end of the bag so we can come out. And if you make a nice clean cut with your bag, then you can chuck all the other bags inside it. Don't just rip it open and make a mess. Right, let's squirt the magic. Literally just this much. You didn't see it, but same amount you'd use for your dishes. So I'll wang that in there. I think I might change. Where's the camera gone? I think I might change the camera angle. So you've got one bag of sand in there so far. Let's get a little bit more water than that. Right, slice another bag in half. Well, not in half, but the ends. Stick that bag inside the other bag. Square the water again. Alright. 
took in half a bag. I, I basically I cut this bag in half with a saw. Put it in slowly and hold your breath. I'll put in the other half a bag of sand. That looks about right. Right. Let me grab a trowel. All the sand and stuff which is stuck in the back, I need to free it up. Let's bang the side. First, grab your towel down the inside, free up any sand which is stuck to the side of the mixer. A little bit more water, put the bucket in front of it like that as the water is in so it doesn't splash out. What you can do then, you can turn it off, you get your trowel in the back of it and free up some stuff which is stuck at the back. Turn it on, give it half a spin, and free up this stuff at the back. Turn it back on again. And just add water as you need it. I'm going to stick that in front of it again so it doesn't splash out. Right. Just let that spin for a bit. I might turn it off and do a bit of a slow mo. I've just been doing loads of blah, blah, blah. It didn't even bloody turn it on, did I? Well, cement's ready now anyway. Let's pour it out in slow-mo. Right, back to normal mode. Get out as much as you can. Job's a good one. Suppose I should start building the wall now then, shouldn't I? Well, I'll move the cement over. Actually, let's carry you over. So how's everyone doing today? What are you doing? Sat there at tea, coffee? Lattes sat there watching somebody lay bricks. Oh, you got a tough life, you lot. Right, let's dump this by here. So, yeah, stick the wheelbarrow in the middle. Um, yeah, bish, bosh. Oh, what can I say exciting about building brick walls? Mm -hmm. Streamline tightness. Nothing really is exciting about building brick walls. Oh, that's why I stopped doing it years ago. Bore the crap out of me. Right, okay, suppose I best start doing something. Nice new fresh pair of gloves. I really do have to start remembering to wear gloves. I crap at wearing gloves. I've got silk sheets. If I don't wear gloves, fingers catch all the silk. It drives me insane when you're trying to sleep. Why am I talking about my silk bedding for? I don't know. Right, I'm gonna wang some in. And I'll just change the camera angles every time I'm doing a course or something. Might make it a little bit more interesting. Oh, gosh, here we go. Can you see it? 
Class B engineering bricks. Massive frog in the middle, which will probably be beneficial actually. They'll strengthen it more, and especially because this is a, from a storm damaged wall. Having massive holes in the brick probably will help. Right, so the bond, the middle pillar here, the bricks are still in place. And I know the stretcher is on this side. So I'll do the stretcher this side. Glasses on, can't see jack otherwise. The wall's actually got a bit of a bend in it. Lay my first line to the brick. Lay my first line to the brick. Lay my first brick to the line. Duh. And I can't wait for the comments. People saying, oh, you shouldn't use very liquid. You shouldn't use very liquid. What's he doing, stupid cowboy? <laughs> what ifs? I did actually have this conversation before on a previous video about me using theory. Quite a lot of people saying, oh, it's really bad, you shouldn't do it. And then quite a lot of people saying, no, absolutely fine, nothing wrong with it. So if you wanna make a comment giving your reasons, yeah, crack on, why not? Right, so that's that one. I'll go down that end. I might put some music on so you can watch it with some music. <laughs> music start now. You lot bored yet? <laughs> I am. Laying bricks sucks. Yeah, well, crack on. Gotta get another mix anyway. Back in a bit. Um, yeah, so cement starting to go off already a bit. <laughs> He'll be on it. Just had, a, just had somebody drive past and say something. All right, forget about that. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to strike off a little bit, get a bit, because it's starting to dry. Now, can't zoom whilst I'm recording. So, let's bring you really, 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 really close. Oh yeah, always do the vertical ones first and always come in from the corner then back down that way then you get yourself a nice nice edge it'll all have to be brushed off anyway
Repeat, repeat, repeat. And any, any excess cement, just brush it off. Smooth as a whistle. Yada, yada, yada. Right, I'm not filming any more of this because it's boring the crap out of me. Easy. So hands up if you're still awake and watching, if you are. Hands down if you're getting bored. Me, getting bored. Two more courses. Um, I need some more cement. And then I forgot to get the bloody capstick on the top. So I'll do the two courses. I'll have enough cement. I'll nip off to the builder's merchants. I'll grab the caps, plonk them on, bish bosh, I'm out of here. I'm supposed to go back to that job this afternoon as well. Hopefully I have enough time to finish off the tiles in that porch. Ugh. Right, another mix, small mix. <laughs> But unfortunately, I can't finish it off. These pillar caps, they normally sell on the builders merchants around the corner, but they don't sell them anymore. So you're gonna have to imagine it's actually finished. Get it. Well, there we go. There was a little bit of brickwork for you to look at, a bit of time-lapse. Yeah, like I said earlier, the, um, the caps, they didn't have any. So I gotta go bloody somewhere else tomorrow. Like a 15 mile round trip to go get two caps. Well, anyway, that might have passed a bit of time for you brickwork junkies who like watching people lay bricks. You probably like watching people lay bricks more than I actually like laying bricks. Right, well, I'm supposed to go to um, Andrew's now to um, sort out a couple of tiles, but I've just been f effing round with my side door for about the last half hour. Couldn't get things shut. But it's shut now anyway, so something I'm going to get fixed in the next couple of days. Right, blah, 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 blah. See you on the next one. Which will be back at Andrew's doing the grouting with Tyler Stills. So until then, catch you in a bit. Later.